Hello, comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This handsome devil is your host, Bill Miller. And this, for the first time ever, is my co-host, the lovely Mrs. Musings. All right, she's been bothering me for years trying to get into my, one of my videos. And so I finally put the ham in this one because we both chose grades for these books that came back from CGC. Finally, it's our first CGC unboxing in quite a while. We had one maybe a year and a half, two years ago. That was our first one ever. So this is, I guess, the second one ever. We sent in 25 books. We got 20 back because one was a magazine and four of them were pre-modern. So these are all the modern ones that we got back. And by CGC's definition, that's 1976 forward. So I haven't seen the books. Mrs. Musings has because she covered up the grades. So they will be a surprise to me and to all of you. And I do have the grades that she and I gave them. So we'll find out who was the more accurate grader, Mrs. Musings or I. And there will be a prize named later. If it's me, it'll probably be an expensive comic book. If it, if it's her that wins, then it'll be a thank you and a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> so, if I remember, I'll try to um, put in how much each book cost us. The, the price of uh, pressing and cleaning and, and the CGC submission all total. And the GPA value from GP analysis. So I'll try to do that. Um, but a big shout out to Jimmy the Geek aficionado who did the pressing and cleaning for all these books. Uh, you can contact him. I will leave his channel link and his IG handle in the description. The Instagram for you kids out there. All right. So enough yapping. Let's get to looking at grades. This is Musings. The first book, please. All right. This is Something is Killing the Children, issue number one. This is the, what is that? Which one is, I, I know it's the Jenny Ferguson cover, but there's a name. There you go. It says it on there. Unlocked Retailer Edition. So this is from Boom Studios, September of 2019. First appearance of Erica Slaughter. Virgin cover, James Tinian the Fourth. Don't get that twisted. Story. Got stickers covering it up. Let's see. Werther Dell Adara art and Jenny Frisson cover. So for something is killing the children. Number one. We each predicted a nine point eight. And survey says what. <clears throat> That's all right. So we each overgraded by uh, one grade. It is a 9.6. Still good. We'll take it. But this is definitely one that I plan on selling at some point. All right. Next one up. Oh, the she devil with a sword. We've got Red Sonia, issue number one, the original Marvel run. So this says, Red Sonia number one, Marvel Comics, January of 1977, based on Robert E. Howard's Red Sonia. Roy Thomas and Clara Noto story, Frank Thorne cover and art. And so for this one, let me note the last score so I don't lose track. Um, Red Sonia. Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.4, and I predicted a 9 dot deuce. So hopefully she's right on this one. Let's see what we get. Oh, and I'm right on this one. I wish it were a 9.4, but gosh darn it, I'm just too much of a good grader. We got a 9.2 with white pages. That's cool. All right, so very excited about that. In the back, we've got the evil one. And that is Super Boss. So this is another one that we will be selling at some point, because we already have it. 
So very cool. Red Sonia number one. All right, next one, dear. Ooh, Red Sonia number five. I believe this is one that we need, if I'm not mistaken. So if it is, we will be hanging on to it. It says Red Sonia number five, Marvel Comics, September of 1977. Roy Thomas and Clara Noto's story, Frank Thorne, cover and art. And Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.4. I predicted a 9.6. So let's see. We got the nine. What? 9.0. Well, we both overgraded on that one. Me slightly more. That stinks. But white pages, so we got that going for us. And on the back, we've got the Orca movie advertisement. So Red Sonia number five, a 9.0. All right. I will note that next one, please. Ooh, one of my favorites, Shogun Warriors, an excellent series. Based on several different Japanese television shows. So we have Shogun Warriors, number one, Marvel Comics, February of 1979. Doug Minch story, Herb Trimp and Dan Green art, Herb Trimp and Al Milgram cover. So Shogun Warriors, Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.6. I predicted a 9.2. And survey says, well, we got the nine. 9.6. Mrs. Musings was right. Hey, a blind squirrel and all that. <laughs> and on the back, we've got the Lego Expert Builder series. So very exciting. Shogun Warriors, number one, 9.6, white pages. So we will be selling this too, since we already have that. But excited to have it nonetheless. Nothing like a good old-fashioned unboxing. All uh, right, ready? Ooh, we're not selling this one. This is one of the bosses, Mrs. Musings. So this is Wonder Woman number 78, DC Comics, November of 2019. It says variant cover. G. Willow Wilson story. Tom Derenick, Trevor Scott, and Norm Rapman art. Norm Rapman's pretty cool. He's an anchor. I met him many a time and bought some stuff off of Mac Phoenix Comic Con. Jenny Frisson cover. All right, so Wonder Woman, number 78. Let us see. We both predicted a 9.8 for this. So are we equally right or equally wrong? Let's see. There's the little tab. Well, we got the 9. What? Ooh, 9.0. White pages, of course, but that is a tough one. Hmm. I see a, some, a little bit of ink mark down here. Like scrape or rub right there. But I am not seeing that. They don't generally have notes for modern comics, especially high-grade ones. Um, there's a slight corner ding on that corner right there. All the other corners are sharp. I'm not getting that. That doesn't make any sense. All right, but we got Wonder Woman number 78, 9.0. Next one. Ooh, what are you doing holding? Are you the holder now? I'm the official holder in this video. I do what I want. Oh, is that right? Oh, you know what? Before I continue, there is one question that everybody watching has had for several years, and it's not, what is the next hot comic book to pick up? If you're looking for that, I release a video once a month 
with five undervalued spec books. But that's not the question. What they're wanting to know is, what sort of voodoo magic did you work to get such a handsome devil like me to marry you? Yes, dear. Would you care to uh, elucidate and let the people know? No. All right, it's her secret, gang. I tried. We've got Wonder Woman number 72, DC Comics, August of 2019, variant cover. G. Willow Wilson story, Jesus Merino and Tom Derenick art, Jenny Frisson cover. A fantastic cover, isn't it? Beautiful, deep, rich blacks on there. And survey says, oh, before I do, Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.8. I predicted a 9.6. Nine point two. Wow, they are rough on these. These modern ones. So let me see. It, it has the same type of like color rub or scraping in the white um, UPC box. I'm just not seeing anything else. A slight, tiniest bit of rounding in that same part, the upper top corner here. But wow, I'm not getting that. And on the back, we have an advertisement for the DC Swamp Thing television show. So white pages, of course. Wonder Woman, number 72, 9.2. I will write that down. Hold up. Holding. We've got 20, so we'll do one, 10 in this video, and then we'll do 10 in another video. That way it's not too long. All right, we got four more to go. Oh boy, this one's a keeper. This is Pacific Presents number two, Pacific Comics... April of 1983. Dave Stevens and Steve Ditko stories and art. Dave Stevens cover. So let's see. Pacific Presents. I predicted a 9.6. Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.4. Let's see which of us is more correct. Well, we've got the nine. 9.4. <clears throat> Mrs. Musings was right. Again. Well, she's clearly got good taste and good judgment. <laughs> and on the back, we've got an advertisement for Alien Worlds number two. White Pages. Pacific Presents number two, 9.4. All right, next one. Okay, very cool. This one's a keeper. One of my favorite stories, series of all time, Fear Agent. This is Fear Agent Ash Can. I said Ash, number one. Image Comics, 2005. Previews Fear Agent number one and number six. Rick Remender story, Corey Walker art, Tony Moore cover and art. Just a fantastic series. And for Fear Agent, let us see. I predicted a 9.6 and Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.2. And on the back, got excellent art previewing the cover of issue number one. All right, so let's see who's closer to CGC's grade. 9.2. Mrs. Fusings again predicted it. 9.2. White pages. So Fear Agent, Ashcan Edition. 
9.2. All right, next one. What do we got here? Oh, Scout. A fantastic read, but a comic that we will be selling. So this is Scout number one, DC slash Vertigo Comics, March of 2007. First appearance of Dashiell Bad Horse. Jason Aaron story, R.M. Guerra art, jock cover. And for Scout, I predicted a 9.8. Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.4. So let's see who came closer to the actual grade. Oh, wow, 8.0. That is really off. And I just don't see it. I mean, it's tough, it's a black cover. There's a crease right there. Yeah, there is a little crease. Maybe some of the that. pressing um, could have come out since it sat so long at CGC. So that's a shame. But, white pages, of course. Scout, number one, 8.0. All right, and I think we've got one more. Oh, boy. Okay, this is Hellboy Seed of Destruction, number two. We sent all four of this miniseries in. These will be keepers. We've got Hellboy Seed of Destruction, number two, Dark Horse Comics, April of 1994. First appearance and origin of Abe Sapien. First appearance of Liz Sherman, Monkey Man and O'Brien backup story by Art Adams. Mike Mignola and John Byrne story, Mike Mignola cover and art. And let's see, number two, we both predicted a 9.8. I'm not feeling too good about that. Seems like they were great. The first time we sent in, it seemed like they graded a lot easier. And I was undergrading according to the way the results that came back. So I tried to step up and grade a little bit looser. And it seems like uh, a different guy got these books. And he's like, F him. So we've got Hellboy Seed of Destruction number two. What did we get? At least there's a nine. 9.6. All right. I don't know what you have to do for a 9.8 because this thing is immaculate. And on the back, we have Martha Washington Goes to War. Advertisement, obviously, for another book. White Pages, of course. It's new. Hellboy, Seed of Destruction, number two. All right, let's write that down. All right, that is the 10 will do. So just glancing at it real quickly, it looks like I dusted Mrs. Musings. Um, I got 80 to 90% of them correct, more correct than she did. But you know what? I won't bore you with the details of calculating everything up. Uh, we'll do that later on. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this unboxing. If you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and click that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release new Red Hot videos. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Remember... We're taking over the world, one comic book at a time.